Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how we can install Apache HBase on Windows machine. Apache HBase is Hadoop's database and it works on NoSQL concept, right? To install Apache HBase, the prerequisite is uh, you need to have Hadoop up and running and you need to have Java already configured on your system. So in my system, I've already have configured my Java and Hadoop, right? And I'm ready to install Apache HBase. Apache HBase can be downloaded from this link. Uh, it's already been showing in, in front of you. The, this is the file we need to download, which is uh, uh, hbase-1.4.9-bin.tar.gz. It's already been downloaded in my system and I've already have extracted this file as well. Let me show you. This is my, uh, uh, this is the file which I have downloaded and out of which I'll be first extracting to this tar file and after tar, fi tar file, I've already put everything under the HBase setup. It means you need to extract everything and uh, you'll be getting this folder at the last, okay? HBase hyphen 1.4.9. It's already been extracted, has already been downloaded. So we need to follow five steps only to get it uh, done. So what are, the, what are those five steps? Let me first show you. First of all, first you need to download and extract that HBase which I've already shown you. It is 1.4.9 and link I'll be sharing in my description box. Afterwards, you need to open up your environmental variables. I need to uh, set up two variables over there. So uh, I've already have opened up my environmental variables uh, interface. Click on environmental variables, click on new, and here you can write hbase underscore home, and you need to give the path here. The path in my laptop is this one. I need to copy uh, this entire path starting from C drive and paste it in my environmental variable. Okay, I'm done with it. And also go to your path variable, which is available here and make an entry, this one over there. Click on new and here you need to make an entry with this uh, th this line, okay? I'll be putting everything in my description box, not to worry. All right, press okay, we are done with it. So second step is already done. Third step is you need to go inside your uh, HBase folder and need to configure two files over there, HBase site and HBase env. So I'm going inside my HBase bin, this is my bin inside which you'll sorry not hbase bin you need to go inside the configuration and over there you'll be finding two files over there one is uh, hbase env open up with your uh, notepad editor or any uh, any other application so i'm opening with a notepad plus plus so when you open up this you need to uh, give the java path here the java path is available here okay and this is the java path which i'm having 1.8 so i need to put it uh, in my any of the vacant space here okay any of the vacant space save it and afterwards open up the second file which is hbase site.xml so hbase site.xml we need to open up again with the notepad plus plus and over there you'll be finding configuration tags and within the configuration tags you need to place these property tags which i've already have uh, written in my notepad file i'll be sharing this all with you as well so not to worry. So uh, over there, what I'm doing in this case, I'm putting three config, uh, property tags. One is root directory. Here I'm giving one folder H file. I've already have created this folder in my laptop. I can show you under my C drive and you can find we have a H file available to create this folder. Plus also we, I have also created one folder called zookeeper, which is which I've listed here as well. The zookeeper is my another folder which we need to create. It means you need to create two folders in your uh, any location and the next two properties need to set as it is okay not to change okay so close these files which you have already configured afterwards we are now done with everything now the fourth step is to go to your uh, go to uh, your hbase to start hbase we need to first start hadoop okay so what so what you have to do over there open up your node uh, uh, powershell and run your hadoop okay for running hadoop i've already written all the commands so i need just have to type my uh, go, I'm going to my Hadoop and over there I'm going to my uh, bin uh, sbin location and then I need to start my DFS first. So DFS is starting and then start yarn. Okay, so this is the regular procedure of opening up the Hadoop. Uh, just to uh, on a safer side because sometimes my name node goes in a safe mode. So I, I already have written one command. This is the optional command. If it's not happening for you, you can you can skip this command. Otherwise, you can run this for a safer side. Now go to your uh, HBase home. It is available uh, here for me, right under the bin folder, and just write a command start start 
hyphen hbase.cmd it will start the daemon for hbase which is hmaster okay so how you can check with a jps command with the jps command you should get the hmaster opening up it means in addition to my hadoop daemons which is name node data node and others your hbase hmaster is also opening up and now you can open up your hbase shell with the command hbase space shell so it should open up the hbase shell and it will be the last step for your uh, hbase installation you can see start hbase and then open up the hbase shell let me check out you can see now hbase is opening up right so, so it means we are done with the installation so i hope you must have understood the steps for the hbase installation for rest of the contents i'll covering up in the next video thanks for watching guys see you next video